are now flowing under the ML. And here we go. Hydrogen to burn off igniters initiate. Seven, six, five. Back to the boom and gone. Astrophysicist Eden and my buddy Astro here. Oh, he looks really cute. <laughs> he he came with me to accompany me. <laughs> he got Amazing. Really this is his first time in space. That's fantastic. <laughs> so let's dive right in. This is my PBT for all space. First of all, what do you think is space? It's anyone wants to share? I guess the space, the area beyond the earth is space. There are no wrong answers. Share away. The unknown. Okay, any others? The mysterious. Extraordinary. That's great. You can um, unmute yourself and, and answer. Whatever is all around us. Yes, that's, that is good. Okay, let's move on. Maria, could you go ahead? We can't see, actually. Yeah. Can you not see one moment? Mm -hmm. we oh, because see. the text is dark. Yes. I think the text is is in black. Yeah. It's Sorry. Black. No problem. Yes. Okay. So this is what space is. It's beyond it that lies a vast, empty void. It's home to planets, stars, and galaxies. Space is also extremely cold. It contains stuff we can't understand. <laughs> it's full of danger and beauty. So, do you know how many planets we have? Can you name them? Venus! Mercury, Earth, Venus, Pla uh, Pluto, <laughs> Pluto, 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 Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto. Louder! Mars, Jupiter! Jupiter! Yes, Mercury! Mercury, Saturn. Mercury, Venus, Saturn. Earth, Mars, awesome. Saturn. 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 I can't hear you. Earth, Venus, Mercury, Earth, Mars, Venus, Mars, Earth, Earth Mars, Saturn, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, wow. Saturn, Uranus, you are the best. Neptune. All those are Let's move Pluto. on. Okay. And some unknown ones. And unknown. Pluto is out. <laughs> These are all the planets. The planets. You, the, uh, Pluto used to be a planet, Please, not the yes. dwarf planets. No longer. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Okay, these are the facts of all the planets. Mercury is the closest to the sun. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Earth is where we all live. Mars is called the red planet. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Saturn has beautiful rings. Uranus rotates on its side. And Neptune is the furthest from the sun. As you can see, we can have we have Saturn here. Now, have you ever heard of dwarf planets? No. Ooh. No. No. You're about. So, what is a dwarf planet? A dwarf planet is a small, roughly spherical object that circles the sun, but hasn't removed any other debris from its orbit. Although they haven't cleared their roots, dwarf planets orbit the sun and are almost spherical in shape. Like ordinary planets, they are formed from gas and dust. They differ from terrestrial planets in that a large number are composed of rock and ice. 
let's That's move on. That's really interesting. Can you name them? Oh, dwarf planets. I didn't I know they were. One. Yeah. There's dwarf five of them. Name them. We can't see them. Can you see? No, yes. they have to make it a little bigger. Yeah. Also, oh, Pluto is a dwarf planet then. Yeah, Pluto is a dwarf planet. That's what it shows. Oh, that's interesting. That is. Make, make. I've never heard of these yeah, ever. Never. These are, they never have weird names, it. don't they? Like, Make Make. Yeah. How would they name it like that? Make Make. Make it's make. Japanese. It's a Japanese dwarf. Oh yes, it is. Okay, what is this last one? It it's a it's like it's like a cylinder. It's not really shaped that well. Oh. And Ceres is right next to Mars. Ceres. And Pluto is no, and Eris is the biggest one, and it's and it's all out um beyond the Kuiper Belt. That is beyond Neptune. It's very far. Oh, and Pluto. Did you know that Pluto has a moon that orbits around it? So then they both like are orbiting each other. It's the moon is to, uh, the moon is called Charon. Oh, interesting. Can you oh, guess yeah, natural about... uh, natural satellite of Earth? Moon. Black holes, yes, I heard of black holes. Yeah, do you know what are black holes? Anyone? Not really, not fully. Anyone else? I think black holes are something, you know, black, the hole is black. I think probably that is why it is black hole, Ian. Kind of, yeah. Like craters, <laughs> something like craters. Craters? Um, yeah, somewhat. Let's see. Let's find out. So Black great. hole is a region of space where gravity is so great that nothing can escape, not even light. It is created when a massive star collapses on itself. Nothing, not even light can escape from black holes due to their extreme gravity. Massive stars collapse to form them and nothing can get out once it crosses the event horizon. So it will suck you in. So don't go too close to it. You get away. You get sucked. Get pulled. Pulled in. You, you yes. can't get. You pulled can't out. get away. So don't get near one. <laughs> but it, be, it it would be interesting to go inside and see who all are there. <laughs> you want some out? You will find mostly light. You will see mostly it, light. So uh, your eyes. Nothing. Not even light. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there yeah, is yeah, we, yeah, the, yeah. the scientist, right? A very famous scientist who who uh, did a study on black holes. Oh yeah, what is his name? Stephen Hawking. Yeah. Oh yeah, Stephen oh, Hawking invented the theory of black holes, and we have discovered them, and we discovered them fifty years later. Yeah, has really? anyone heard of Stephen Hawking? Yes. 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 Isn't he yeah. a guy who can't walk? I mean, he couldn't walk, and he had lots. Yeah, of he can't he talk. He was. He's yes. in a wheelchair. Yes. He yes. couldn't speak, so he had some translator that. Uh, so they yeah. know what he was saying. Yeah, he and they say eventually the world will end because it'll be all consumed by a black hole. That's not. That's not exactly true because they. We think that the universe will collapse on itself. And they think that oh. black holes um, are uh, very, they have a long lifespan. And the only way they can die is Hawking radiation because when there's no um, light or any other suns or matter, it, it can't survive. It was invented by Stephen Hawking. That's why it's called Hawking radiation. Oh, I see. Interesting. But nothing Great. can be a black dwarf. Isn't it something like that, you know, vacuum? Like oh, vacuum cleaner, sucks in. I think <laughs> yeah. even even black hole sucks in just like that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Now that you know about black holes, can you guess what are white holes? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when some Never when some there. black hole uh, absorbs in some white pill. You in this <laughs> They give out light. So what do you think a white hole is? When someone's uh, shining a torch into a black hole. Oh, good one, Maria. <laughs> I never thought of that. Yeah, okay. Black and white. Are they the same or they're different? Probably the same. They're the same. Yeah. Are they opposite? Yeah, yeah they're opposite. No, black and white. So they're what opposite. can you say about black hole and white hole? <laughs> Make the, okay, a white hole the is a, is a theoretical comes. area in space where matter and energy are ejected, making it impossible for anything to enter. A black hole, on the other hand, draws everything in. Oh, That's the opposite. The opposite. I'm saying with opposite. opposite. Yes. Yeah. But it's only a theory. It's only theory, since, but yeah. Since we, uh, since we discovered black hole in 50 years from a theory, Maybe in 50 years, we'll also confirm that white holes exist. So then you can go, the, go to them, at least. <laughs> and maybe find out what it is. Long life. Long life. What a black hole is. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like so if, a, if it is, a source so if it is, of all matter. So if it is only theory, how come uh, they are making statements like they eject everything? and? Yeah, because it's opposite. They are yeah, just I mean, making that's a theory. Just, because... That's just uh, theoretical again. Mm. Yeah, they haven't proved it. They haven't proved it. Maybe yeah. but th- that's... they have never been observed. This... But maybe in fifty years we'll find one roaming in the roaming in the in space. In... Maybe in fifty years. So what happens if we find a blue hole? This <laughs> <laughs> gray hole, black and white with water. <laughs> oh yes, we solve the water problem. Oh, yes, indeed. Go. <laughs> Grey holes. So now let's move on to stargazing. Ooh. Our best point. <laughs> let's have fun. Uh, would you like to go stargazing once? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello. Yes, Hello. yes, for sure. This asteroid. Look what I found. We can't see it's you. To join you. There, there, there. See, there Ooh. are two of them. This, this is, is a little cousin. The little cousin. What's this cousin's name? This is Astron. And this is? Astroy. Oh. <laughs> They're having fun. Okay. Now it's stargazing moment. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Alligator. <laughs> okay. What we want to stargazing? Observing the stars and other objects in the night sky, such as planets, moons, constellations, and occasionally meteors or comets. It's known as stargazing. Although it is impossible, others is possible to view objects in greater detail, many stargazers opt to use binoculars or telescopes. In addition to being a popular pastime and recreational activity, stargazing is important for science and astronomy and space exploration. Clear dark skies, free from light pollution, offer the best conditions for stargazing. Don't forget that if you want to go one night staring at the stars. This is very important, the information he's giving based on what's to follow. So hold on to this. Yeah, don't forget. So, do you know how many stars are in space? Countless. Okay. Make a guess. <laughs> so many. Hundreds and thousands. Wow. Millions, millions. Why is it that? Billions. Right now, right now I can see one star in space over here. Homework for homework for tonight. Everyone must go and count how many stars. <laughs> the sun it's actually is impossible star. to count the number of stars in space. But the closest estimate is around one septillion stars. That's how much is that? Twenty-one zeros after it. What is one septillion? A one with more than twenty zeros. uh, Twenty zeros next to it. Wow, Wow. Wow. that's amazing! I didn't know that. And plus that, there are one hundred billion galaxies which they're in. Oh, like ours in the Milky Way. 
Yeah, the Milky Way. And in there are alone, four hundred billion stars. Oh my God! One hundred billion galaxies. That's like so hard to even say. And in our galaxy alone, there's four hundred billion. Oh my God! Imagine how much a billion, how many zeros after billion? <laughs> billion. Francis, how many billion. zeros for four hundred billion stars? Billion plus twenty billion. Two hundred. Your challenge for tonight: try to count all 100 billion stars. Oh my God! <laughs> we'll go to sleep and get up also. <laughs> yeah, so that's why uh, you need to know how to stargaze. First step is to find a dark spot, so you have to avoid any lights. Then you check the weather. You have to yeah. look for clear sky so you can see the stars. Then you have to get the equipment. Bring binoculars or a telescope and consult star maps or apps such as Night Sky. Then you have to learn the basics of identifying constellations and stars, like the Big Dipper. Then you have to allow your eyes for twenty to thirty minutes to adjust to the darkness. Then you have to document your observations by taking notes or photographs. Or you can join join local astronomy groups or activities. So you can yes. get more info. So some extra tips. You can bring comfort because you'll be, you'll be uh, conquering four hundred billion stars. Will take a while. <laughs> so dress in layers and use blankets or chairs. Then you have to use a red torch to maintain your night vision. <laughs> Plan ahead for uh, for like if there are storms. Clear skies you need, right? So you have to plan for that. Then take breaks. So then you have to rest your eyes so you can see more stars. But don't don't look at any lights. Wow. We can okay. see that Ian, you're a real star by yourself, and it's great that we can definitely spot the biggest star around here. Big <laughs> hand, everyone! Thank you. Yay. Well done, Ian. Well done. Mother well, of the stars. <laughs> Mother of the stars is Nabila, so she's a Nabila. Oh, so I'm a Nabila. They create stars. He's a real expert at stargazing, so that's why so many tips. That's oh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Thank you so well, much. Yeah, for yeah. Yeah. No problem. Thank you for uh, joining us today, and this is bye from me. And Astro and, and his little cousin Astro. Bye. Bye. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Safe travel. Safe travel to space, and we hope to. Oh, the rocket has taken off already. Okay. Yeah, so, you're the diamond bye. in the sky. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, there's a diamond in the sky. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Oh, that's so cute. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. You're our diamond in the sky. Oh, it's so cute! Well done. Thank you. So Enjoy your so Four hundred billion stars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll join you. <laughs> okay. On that note, everybody, with all those, I'm sure y'all are feeling quite spaced out. Anybody feeling spaced out after that presentation? <laughs> I feel like going there. Okay, there to the black hole. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be there I'll... to pull you out. <laughs> you can call on me. Yes. Francis said yeah. that. <laughs> you can count on me <laughs> to pull you out oh, of the black so hole. <laughs> okay, let's get even more spaced out with these crazy, insane, spacey facts. Okay, do you know? That the moon is the only other world where humans have ever set foot on. I think we all know that, right? But did you yeah. know that the moon, since the moon has no atmosphere or wind, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. footprints that were that were created in 1969 are still there, perfectly preserved. Oh, because there's no atmosphere, no wind, or anything that has taken them away. But the, the, the fact that the moon fact? is the only sorry, the fact that the moon is the only world humans have set foot on is that's debatable. You think so? Yeah, maybe there are there are humans on other planets. <laughs> aliens, <laughs> yeah, maybe aliens. aliens. But yeah, you're yes. right. Maybe humans maybe as well. 
you know what I, I, we we I came back from we, we, we would call them we would call them aliens they would call themselves humans <laughs> yeah true true very yes, true. true but maybe they don't you know what english is maybe they don't know yeah, very humans. true Oh, so the next homework is to try to know. make contact with the with the other humans out there. Slash <laughs> aliens. Okay, do you know that a star reaches sixteen million degrees? Sixteen million degrees, and that if a single grain of sand this hot could kill someone from one hundred and fifty kilometers away. A I single grain of sand is hot. This is so cool. <laughs> That's insane, right? But do you know our core is hotter than the surface of a star? It reaches more than a hundred billion degrees. Wow, that's amazing. With Jupiter. Mm. Jupiter is two and a half times bigger than all the other solar system planets combined. All of the solar system planets combined, it's two and a half times bigger than that. And some more facts. It takes the average photon 170,000 years to travel to the sun's core, to the surface. So from the core of the sun to the surface, just that, it takes 170,000 years. Oh and that's for all the photons inside the sun. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Mm. That's the only direction they can go. Oh, wow. The sun is more than 300,000 times bigger than the earth. It's a star. <laughs> and it looks so small. We're all going to feel very small today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh. now let's have some fun. Let's see if you can guess the object. Okay, here we go. Everyone ready? Yep. What's that? Space lab. Space lab. Space. I'm going to let you guys guess. Space lab. <laughs> oh, I just uh, read it. It's satellite. a satellite. Satellite. satellite yeah. Oh, it's a satellite. Oh, no. like so, you know, yes. everyone uses GPS. Yes. So, this, this, is, yeah. so mm -hmm. this is what Google Earth, Google Maps, all of it comes Global from satellites position. like this mm -hmm. that are in space. Do you know that just like you have a junkyard or a dumpster, there are hundreds of thousands of satellites in, in, in space right now. And there is actually something known as a graveyard where all the dead satellites are just dumped in. Oh my That's God. how yeah. many sat artificial satellites there are. In, in just surrounding oh the earth, yeah. It's called the Nemo. It's it's uh, it has a funny name. It's the Nemo Sea. I've heard it from somewhere. Oh, the the dump is it? Okay. Yeah. And this is of course. Uh, can anyone I guess what this is? No, you can't. It's UFO. 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 Yes. 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 That's what a flying saucer looks like. Absolutely. Okay, what is this? Oh, what is that? A rangoli. No. This is, this is I read somewhere, somewhere that a, a UFO are supposed to have landed or something like that. Uh -huh. yeah. You're close. These are called crop what? circles. They're called crop circles. And apparently, these started appearing regularly nah, yeah, in the 1970s. Reading about this. Yeah, so uh, they, they would suddenly appear overnight, like farmers would go to their farms and okay. over a span of like just a few hours, they would see these beautiful, um, you know, kind of uh, cuttings in, in the center of their fields and they had no idea where they came from. So, of course, it's a conspiracy oh theory that, yeah, that these were caused by, again, Francis's friends, the extraterrestrials. <laughs> No, but it, it, I mean, I, it's conspiratorially <laughs> correct, but they, it's quite impossible to, to do it, I mean, for it to be man-made. Very, very, absolutely. So, while it is, while it is a conspiracy theory, it, it, it is largely believed to be so. Yeah, correct. you're right. What about this? This is, wow. Mars. Yeah, it's our Mars? red planet. 
Mars. Mars. And because it is the yeah. reason why yeah. I brought up Mars is because Mars is a lot in the news. Uh, uh, after the moon, Mars is going to be the yeah. obviously the planet that uh, humans hope mm. to land on. Maybe yeah. in our lifetime as well. And can you guess oh. why? Can you tell me why? Because it's it's uh, it has what? livable. It's I mean it has the same atmospheric. Because this it has. Earth. Yeah. Was it has a better atmosphere than like that. most planets? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, absolutely. It's believed to be as close to Earth as possible, and mm -hmm. there are even um, you know theories mm -hmm. that uh, no, life did exist part. there. Yeah. Yeah. Also, they believe that it might have water, and in which yeah, case. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, it could solve our water of problem. Like. <laughs> this has actually been proven. Uh, there was yeah. a rover called Opportunity. They found a material that's linked to water. Right. And, right. And right. That's why. Uh, yes, and that's why Elon Musk is now booking in uh, seats oh. to go on a mass <laughs> exploration very soon. <laughs> mm. And if you see it, uh, the base of the mountains behind, there is some fog there. That means water. Yeah, 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 fog that and uh, also atmosphere. Yes, yes. so you never know, maybe the next time we, we can all meet there. <laughs> ah, lovely coffee morning. Sorry? Coffee morning. Okay, now we're going to run a test to see who out of you is a true space cadet. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Which planet would you mind the spelling? Which planet would you need to close your nose really tight in? Mm -hmm. Any guesses? Uranus. Wow, <laughs> who's world? Fantastic. Why? Well done. I know that you, you break up the word, that's why. You <laughs> close enough. Maybe that's why it was named so. But it's because yeah. Uranus smells like rotten <laughs> eggs. Oh my god. <laughs> Because there's a lot of hydrogen sulfide in Uranus. Okay. And apparently, like they say, almost the entire planet is made out of hydrogen um, uh, sulfide. Yeah, but so it's, it's very, very But sticky. it's also the coldest planet. Mm. True, true. That's why maybe it has oh, the hydrogen. Name a dance. A dance. Yeah. Name a dance that is related to Name anything. a dance that is related to anything in space. Moonwalk. Uh, moonwalk. No. Moonwalk. Yes. 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 Absolutely yes. right. <laughs> can anyone do the moonwalk? <laughs> I tried it but failed. Oh. <laughs> well, then you can. All yeah, those I, who can't do the moonwalk can actually go for a walk on the moon. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> no, you'll be going up and down. <laughs> I tried it, but it's too much of weight. <laughs> oh, yeah, you need. <laughs> You'll be reduced you to be be light, light like six. Michael Jackson. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, who can sing a song or at least give us a song title with the word stars in it? The word stars? Oh, Oh, I love and <laughs> well done. Anyone else? Yeah, there is and I, now I, I didn't hear any star there. My stars <laughs> are shining bright. <laughs> Hazel, yes, please tell us. That is a mean bird. That is a Nice. Nice. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> <laughs> How come nobody realized that? Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, that's the first one I remembered. <laughs> okay, we hope you won't be seeing stars with these questions, but it's quiz time. Okay. Here we go. What three things are comets made of? Comets. 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 Okay. okay, Hazel, yeah, sure. Rocks. Yes, gas. Rocks, yes. gas, okay. Ice, light. Dust and gas. Light. light. Ice, dust light. and gas. Dust, yeah. Yeah. Dust, yeah, rocks, dust. and ice. That's yes, right. Rocks. I got oh. rocks, right? Dust, rocks and ice. 
Oh, so nice. And can you can you can you guess which comet this is? It's the most famous one of all. Halley's, Halley's, Halley's. Yes, yes that's right. That's Halley herself. That a <laughs> comet has two tails. One made of dust and one made of ice. Oh, Ooh, that's interesting. Let's see. Uh, like how like how many Earths do you think can fit inside the sun? How many? Three Earths. Oh. इनसाइड Okay, if it's inside the sun. Did you know that the there are many more stars bigger than the sun, like a yeah. more city more than a more than a billion times, and Stephenson six eighteen almost a trillion times bigger than the sun. Oh, oh. wow! <laughs> the sun is the, 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 the star closest to the Earth. That's why it looks the biggest. Hmm. Yes. Okay, how much does a space suit roughly weigh? Any idea? It should be very light. Light. Oh, it will be yes. heavy in fact. It will be heavy in fact. Yeah. I guess. Okay. Who will say light? No, heavy. I'll say heavy. Say heavy. Okay. Why not? Okay. Francis says heavy. 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 Say. Okay. Let's see all the heavy weights and all the light weights. Here light we go. It is in red. It is heavy. 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 Because when they are going about. Spacesuit. That's being about two hundred and eighty pounds on Earth. Oh God, that is about. Wow, well, I was going to say hundred kilos. High five. We we said heavy. But fortunately, oh, in, space. in space, it's weightless. They weightless exactly. Uh, mm. Yeah, because there is no gravitational pull. Yes. One six. Yes. Unless unless you go in a black hole. Yes. <laughs> One six. Yeah. One Absolutely. Six. <laughs> Which is the brightest star star in the night sky? Uh, Venus. 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 It's a planet. No, Sirius. Planet. Planet. Venus is planet. Venus. Which is the brightest star? Oh, star, ah, star, ah. Uh, North star. North star. Everyone says North star. Sir, that's that's the only star name I could think of. Venus. <laughs> It is Sirius. Sirius, Sirius is oh, the yeah. brightest star. Oh, solar star. It helps people navigate. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's so the same Sirius thing. Sirius is the brightest star. Yes. Yes. Now, if you are lost in the desert, uh, Ian already gave this out. So uh, hopefully, you <laughs> will all would have all yes, heard yes. that. If you are so, lost in the desert, which is the most the star most likely to help you? Sirius, I know. Sirius, Sirius. Yes, no, Sirius is the brightest star, but the one that is most likely to help you is the no. North Star. North Star. Oh, okay. North star. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it points you to the direction. direction. Yes, it gives you direction because it always points to the north, north. because it's in the axis of the North Pole. Yes, so that's why it's called Polaris. Oh, yes, it's part of the Great Dipper. Yeah. Which? And which constellation is visible from all over the planet? Milky Way. Anywhere. Milky Way. That's a galaxy. Ah, uh, the okay constellation. So a constellation is a group stars. of stars. Stars. Yeah. Like yeah. uh, it's the Orion. Oh yes. Oh, Orion. <laughs> it can be oh, seen from Orion. Yeah. yeah. So that was so good, guys. Everyone, give yourselves good. a big hand. And on that note, we're going to everyone. I think Ian has already given you all all the information you could possibly need. I hope you all have packed your bags with your blankets, comfortable wear, your telescopes. What else did you say, Ian? Make sure you don't strain your eyes. Put your torches off because we are all going stargazing. Stargazing. <laughs> Okay. How much weight is so allowed? Now, sorry. How much yeah, weight allowed? What is the weight allowed? Yeah. You are not going to the sky, to the space. <laughs> Maria, Maria, <laughs> unlimited weight. Unlimited weight. Weightless. 
280 pounds allowed. So, so, you know, this actually, we're going to look at three, we're going to find out how you can spot three different uh, sky objects. One is the North Star. One is this, one is Sirius, which is the brightest star. And three is Orion. And this, these can be seen from wherever you are, as long as, like Ian said, the night sky is not too bright. And so if you can't really see it from where you are, um, you know, and you're traveling, look up into the sky. And it's so beautiful when you can start to recognize and notice which star is who. So are you all excited to do to go stargazing right now and find out how you yep. can identify Polaris? Yes. Yes. OK, here Let's we go. go. Uh, can't hear um, sound audible sound yeah oh you can't hear one one moment that's strange i think when i downloaded this video the sound for some reason got messed up so let let me tell you that's fine it's okay sound Okay. So for some reason, sound is not working, but it's fine. I'll tell you how, what exactly has to be done. Okay. So to identify the North Star, which really helps with, re with navigation, because like we said, it points to the night sky. The first thing that you have to do is identify. Can anyone tell me what this Sorry. constellation is? Great Bear. No. What's that? Yeah. The Big Dipper. Uh, okay, seven, one, two, three, four, okay, five. yeah, seven. it almost looks like a wheelbarrow. These four points, so when you can see four points like this, and then three points that look like a handle, can you see this arc? It's yes. like a yeah. smile, okay? Mm. So you'll see one, two, three, four, five stars in a row like this, mm. and immediately two under, and so this it looks is like a called paper. It it's looks called, like a rocking chair. Yeah, it looks like a rocking chair. It looks like an axe. looks like a wheelbarrow. So many interesting things. Now, when you spot <laughs> this, then you know that this points to the North Star. So let me show you how. Okay. So like we said, this is the Big Dipper. Now, once you find that, you take the two ends over here. All right, mm. which are going to point to the North oh. Star. That is the North Star. Can you see this? This is the North Star. So draw an imaginary line in your oh, mind. Okay, okay, okay. And okay. it will connect to the North Star. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I thought the top one was a North Star, the handle of the uh, wheelbarrow. Ah, uh, no, okay. no, no, no. No. So that was just showing you that that is the 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 part of the Big Dipper. You know, that's how okay, okay, okay. The, the beginning. Yes. So let me play that again. So let's see. So you have the Big Dipper. All right. That's four stars that make up the handle. And you have your wheelbarrow or your cradle here. And you take the two ends <laughs> Of that cradle and draw okay, an okay. imaginary line and that's when so you would imagine this is the north star but it's not see how when you draw a line it is a straight line to the north star okay 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 that's amazing right yeah. so when when travelers even even they say right the three kings that's how yeah. they identified the North Star. So all of you tonight, when you're sitting in your balconies or you're going for a walk, I hope you can find the Great Dipper and then look out for the North Star. Okay? Now moving on. Baby. Let's see how you can find the Orion. Has anyone seen the Orion before? May have seen it but not identified it. Not identified it. So the Orion, I can guarantee you because I look at the Orion almost every day in the sky. And I can guarantee you that you will be able to spot it. And like we said, it's the easiest constellation to spot anywhere in the world. So let's see how, how to identify the Orion, okay? 
The constellation of Orion, one of the largest, most recognisable constellations in our night sky. It is a huge constellation, twice the size of Ursa Major, and shaped like an hourglass. But at the centre are three very large, very bright stars, known as Orion's Belt, and three smaller, fainter stars beneath it, known as Orion's Sword. The constellation of Orion, very bright stars, known as Orion's Belt, and three smaller, fainter stars beneath it, known as Orion's Sword. Again, when you are out and you're looking at the sky, you always you have to look for the ellipses, these three. When you see these three, you'll find the four other stars over here. And that's how you know that this is the Orion. I guarantee you, you will find this. Is everyone up for the challenge to go and look at this tonight? Raining but isn't it, isn't it a bit confusing <laughs> seeing the other stars around? I mean, to, so to you know what? Those... It, identify yeah. the three in the but line. But you, I, exactly. It is like there'll be so many stars, but there will be no stars that will appear always like an ellipsis right. in this form. Three always okay. almost. Uh, see, look at the gap between it as well. It's literally mm. like three dots. Once you find this, then you will very, very easily find these four on the corner. It's almost like a rectangle. So this appears together at all times. And it's incredible to see that appearance of it. So it's raining today. But when if it's not, and whenever you can, yeah. go out and look at it. It's quite a thrill, you know. Now, so that's, that's Orion. Now let's move into uh, figuring out how we can identify the brightest star in the sky. Which one is that again? Sirius. Sirius. The constellation. Absolutely. Sirius. So for Sirius, Orion actually uh, is, is one of the most uh, beautiful guiding uh, constellation because you can identify the North Star as well as Sirius by looking at the Orion. So let's see how you can identify Sirius in this case. So like they've shown us here. But once you've found Orion, like I said, we're going to be using the three stars in the middle that make up Orion's belt. And once you've found them, you're going to draw a line through them. And you're going to continue with that line to the left, straight out from the belt. And it's eventually going to take you to Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. And it's found in the constellation of Canis Major, the dog. So can you see, can you see this? The three, yeah, the right. ellipses. And if you draw a line, it leads straight to Sirius. So that's again, easy enough to identify. As long as you find the ellipses and the Orion, you will find Sirius. And it will be the brightest one in the sky. So the, here are three beautiful uh, ways to identify the stars in the sky. So I hope you all enjoy yourselves uh, with stargazing, but let's do some practice. Okay, so now let's look at the night sky and let's see if you all can identify the three that I told you. Okay, here we the go. Three. Yes, Orion, That's a hell of a Sirius lot of stars. and North Star. Okay, here, right now, I'm not going this, to tell this you This is the three one, one here? Down here. Yeah, no, no, only one. Actually, there are two, but you can tell me any one that you can identify. This was to answer Francis's question. Isn't it confusing to look at the sky and see so many stars? Okay, let me make it easier for you. Oh, can you sorry. identify Orion? Orion is here. I mean, right down to the base. The base. Three... Yes, exactly. Yes. So see, even though there were so many dots, the minute you found those three, you yeah. found the four. And that's the belt, that's the sword, and that's your rectangle right there. Wasn't that amazing? Right. So yeah. it's very easy to identify because anywhere else you look, even if you find something resembling three, like these ones, you will not find the four edges and the... The sword. Moving on. 
said yes. Oops. I will be sure. Yes. So can you identify Sirius? Straight. Yeah. yeah. I already showed you that, yeah. sadly. Yeah. But straight from those three, if you draw a line, it will always lead you to Sirius. Okay. And the third one is now, can you identify the North Star? The camera low. Come down. <laughs> Which is the North Star? Anyone can spot it? Okay, can anyone spot the Big Dipper? Yes, I did. Awesome. Okay, let me show you. See, one, two, three, four. That's your cradle. That's the handle. It will not always appear, uh, you know, it could be upside down as well as it has in this case. So once you identify that, take the end, the end two stars and draw a line and it will lead you to the North Pole. And that's your North Pole. So first identify four stars like a rectangle and then you have the handle. So you will not get confused. Like, it, like typically you would think this is the North Star because it looks the bright. But it's not coming from this end. Therefore, it's not the North Star. Can you see this? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly. how you know because it's from this end. If you draw a line, it will lead you yeah. straight to the North Star. Yeah. Maria, it's the same like how we are doing uh, the other one, right? The Orion. It's like yes. the new thing that you exactly. connect so when you connect those dots and that's when you get it. Yes, exactly. So this is how beautiful and interesting it is. And this is how astronomers look out into the skies and they are able to identify stars and constellations. And hopefully you all can become astronomers and go stargazing. And uh, of course, the only, the only thing is sometimes it's challenging like today when it's raining or when it's very bright within a city. So Ian was right when he advised that if you really are interested you know if you go to a village say you're traveling and you're driving down yes. to a village and it's not very bright I can guarantee you that you will be able to find at least the Orion if nothing else so will you let us know if you do identify them yes. yep yeah. awesome yeah. okay very quickly now let's have some fun after that serious stargazing so we're going to run through a quick who done it okay let's see if, if you have done it, say say yes. And if you've not and you'd like to, say would like to, okay? <laughs> okay, here we go. Who has seen a solar, solar eclipse? Yes, yes seen it. Yes. 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 <clears throat> awesome. What about a lunar eclipse? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Who has spotted a planet with their naked eye? Yes. I can see Venus, I think. You can see Venus. Yes, Venus. Venus, the yeah. After awesome. I've, I've also seen uh, Saturn. And I've seen oh, the rings oh. around Saturn, but not with my naked eye, through a telescope. Telescope, yes. yes. Beautiful, yeah. I mean, time, we could have probably... We <coughs> could have probably time, seen it. There was something like this. Uh, they had put it on news and it had come actually in new, uh, like you know in different time zones they had put I remember because that time we were stuck inside the house and we had a telescope at that point of time and we did that. Oh nice lovely. Oh, what yeah. were you saying Francis? I said we, have, we uh, probably could have seen one but not identified it. Not identified it but if you actually do look at uh, like if you look through a telescope and intentionally try to find Saturn it's amazing to see the rings around it. It's unmistakable. Okay who's gone to space on a rocket other than Ian? I. <laughs> and then I woke up. Yeah. Oh I'm sure it was when you were singing Rocket Man right? <laughs> No, after yeah. I went, I woke up. Then I woke up. Oh, oh <laughs> then you woke up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who met, has met a real-life astronaut? 
Anyone? No. No. Ian? Only Hazel. <laughs> Hazel has met Ian. <laughs> Okay, who has I gave birth to this Mars? <laughs> who has tasted Mars? I, I. Yes, the chocolate. Oh. But I didn't like it. Yes, all of us. But I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's walked on the moon, or at least moonwalked? All tried, she said. <laughs> uh, yes. My done, done. <laughs> okay, who's looked through a telescope? Yes. <laughs> but that time when I was nice. looking, when I was looking through the telescope, yeah. I didn't point it to the sky. <laughs> what? You know, being a te peeping tom. Sights <laughs> <laughs> around were better than the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He had stars in his eyes when he was looking through the telescope, <laughs> not in the sky. <laughs> Who has visited a planetarium? Yes. Yeah. 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 Nehru oh. Planetarium. Nehru. Nehru Planetarium. In Bombay. Oh, oh nice. Excursions lovely. for all this to planetariums. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, lovely. Who's seen a comet? Has anyone seen a comet? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like you've actually yeah. seen a comet? Yeah, yes, I, I saw. The, tail, the, no? broom. the <coughs> tail is like <coughs> a broom. The tail. Yeah. Wow, tail like that's broom. amazing. Like a broom. broom. Like a yeah, broom. We, yeah, we used to call it that time the shooting star. That's a broom. Yes, yeah. yes, and yes. We used to get up early in the morning at dawn, I think, and watch it. <laughs> wow, that's yeah, amazing. That Did I must have been. Yeah. Exactly like a broom. Broom. Wow, that's amazing. The Did you know broom. that Haley's Comet visits the Earth two times what? in the year? Times. I mean, sorry, two times, two times in a person's in lifetime. Yeah. Lifetime. Oh. Yes. <laughs> like last time. Anyone been inside a spaceship? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then and you seriously. woke up and you were in your bed? No, or? no, no. No, no, seriously. We... <laughs> so, we you, we visited NASA at uh, Houston. NASA. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. How lovely. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I, I didn't visit a spaceship, but I went into a rocket. The Apollo 11. Uh, oh. It was on display. That's yeah. The Russian rocket. No. Okay. So oh, different. Nice. It's amazing. But anyway, I wanted to tell all of you that you learned how to stargaze but yes now you can actually stargaze because we're taking you on a trip right now oh. <laughs> on a trip inside a spaceship so oh. here we go okay are you ready yes here we go <laughs> one of the cool things you could do you could do things that you can't do at home Oh, right now we are right over Africa. Okay. It's a little bit cloudy, as you can tell. So we're right over the continent of Africa. Maria, unmute. Like Superman. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Here we are at the throne. And of course, it serves for two functions. Number two, right here. I'll show you. But you see it's pretty small, so you have to have pretty good aim. Be ready to make sure things get let go the right direction. And this guy right here is for number one. So they're sort of two slightly separate functions, but you can do a little, essentially both, by hanging on right here and doing number one and number two. I might add it's color coded so you really don't get it mixed up which is nice. This is yellows for number one. And did I mention both of these have a little bit of suction so they should keep things going in the right direction. This is the cupola. It stick, sticks down below the uh, space station. Uh, it's one of those places you find yourself hanging out in all the time because all you want to do is look back at our planet and you can't help but want to just come 
to the cupola and, and look outside as much as you can. I, I play this game with myself about where we're flying over the earth. I try to come in here and just guess. After being here for a little while, you can sort of figure it out. You can tell different cloud types over different continents. You can tell different soil types over different continents. So let's see. I will tell you in just a moment where we are. Oh, right now we are right over Africa. It's a little bit cloudy, as you can tell, but we're right over the continent of Africa. Hey, what's that? I think that's a Soyuz spacecraft. That's the spacecraft that's taken us home to planet Earth today. Oh my gosh. One of the things we also do is we exercise. We have some exercise equipment on board the space station. Um, we need to do that because we lose bone density and muscle mass while we're up here and that's a result of not having to fight against gravity. So how we keep ourselves in shape are with a bike, a treadmill and a weightlifting machine. This is the bike. You notice the clip pedals. So all you need to do is actually clip your feet in and then you can start pedaling. You don't need a seat because you don't sit down. Actually I haven't sat down for six months now, so you don't need any any type of seat. Just make sure you're you're held in with your pedals. <laughs> One of the cool things you could do, you could do things that you can't do at home. For example, single leg squats with just one leg, because the other leg you won't fall over. You can also do bench press. We have a bench that we could add on here, so you can work on your beach muscles. <laughs> This is where four out of six of us sleep. And so people always ask about sleeping in space. Do you lie down? Are you in a bed? Um, not really, because it doesn't matter. You don't really have the sensation of lying down. You just sit in your sleeping bag. Here's one sleep station right here. I'm going in right now. You can follow me if you want. <laughs> so I'm I inside. The hairstylist. It's sort of like a little phone booth. Um, but it's pretty comfy. I've got a sleeping bag. Um, but you know, you can sleep in any orientation. I have it sleeping, feeling like I'm standing up right now, but like you saw, I'm on the floor. But it doesn't matter if I turn over and I sleep upside down. I can't have it, I don't have any sensation in my head that tells me that I'm upside down, so it really doesn't matter. And just for reference, that's one sleep station. This one's another right here. There's one on the ceiling, if you want to call it, right here. <laughs> oh. And then there's a fourth <laughs> on the other wall over here. So all of us sleep in a little bit of a, a circle. And this is our kitchen. You might notice there's all sorts of foods here. Uh, it's like opening the refrigerator. You got all your different stuff that you want to have. Drinks, meats, eggs, vegetables, cereals, uh, bread, uh, snacks, and that's a good place. That's where you find all the candy. Some of it is dehydrated, and so we have to hydrate it, fill it up with water. Some of it is already made, and then all we have to do is heat it up. So something like this, I'm pulling out barbecued beef brisket. Pretty yummy. I'm here with my two buddies uh, in the airlock. Somebody's little head would be inside of here. So you can see, you can turn your head all the way around while you're inside of there, but the helmet stays still. It's usually pretty sunny out there, so we have to wear our sunglasses, and this is our sunglasses right here, which make you look pretty cool. This is one of the cool things about space, too. It sort of looks like there's a big old hole here, but you don't even think twice about it. You can just jump over the hole, or if you want, you can go jump into the hole. I'm coming down. <laughs> then you can come right back up again, like Superman. Woo! <laughs> so we're going into the Russian segment. Be ready. You don't need a passport either. Hi. 
doing a little tour. <laughs> so here we are in the heart of the space station, really. This is the service module. This is the central post. Some of the things we have to worry about in space are fire. If we had a depressurization, like we were hit by a micrometeorite and it made a hole. If we have any of those problems, we come right here, which we call the central post. It is the main heart uh, of the space station. It's a pretty safe ride home. You're probably wondering, what's all this junk behind us? Well, it's all of our parachute, first of all, and then it's all of our survival gear, just in case we end up landing in some strange place on the planet and nobody's there to rescue us right away. We have all sorts of survival gear uh, with us, keeping us safe in here. So they've pretty much thought of everything. And uh, we'll be home on the planet within the next 12 hours. Pretty shocking. <laughs> it was a long wait. We hope you enjoyed that. Yes, we did. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, you have become a pro in stargazing. <laughs> <It's a talk>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I actually only knew uh, how to recognize the Orion and the North Star. And I kind of looked up how to do Sirius. And I wanted to give you all. I've mm. always wanted to do this. I was uh, telling Francis and Hazel as well. You know, where y'all are just walking around and, you know, you know everything that's around you. Like you're looking at, you know, your trees and your fruits and your vegetables and your flowers and everything that's on ground. But everything up there is just so mysterious, right? Yes. And sometimes just to connect the two, just being able to identify and feeling part of it is beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was very yes, much it, yes, yes. mystical. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Really informative. Yeah. Really informative. <laughs> yeah, really and, and it's, it's, as, it's, it's hard to, like, there's just, just like uh, Ian said, there were what I can't even, I, I can't even uh, remember <laughs> or, or fathom the vastness of space, 400 uh, million, I billion. think he said, stars, billion, billion. yeah, whatever, <laughs> billion, septillion, whatever, <laughs> you know, so it's so huge. And therefore, there's just so much to talk about. So we just touched on a little bit of all of this. And I do want to say a big thank you to Hazel and Ian for that lovely thank segment you. that you all put Pleasure out. Pleasure was all ours. Yeah, Thanks thank you very much. For the opportunity. Thanks. Yeah. Thank and I want to thank our amazing sponsor who took all of you on that spaceship uh, tour, which is uh, Francis, who sent that beautiful video to me. So big hand to him yeah, as thank well. Thank you, Francis. Yeah. yeah <laughs> By the really way, uh, Francis, it. I'd second that with you, you know, when you said she needs a hairstylist. I mean, look at that. It's like complete stuff. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Yeah, if you but, if you, if you need a free spaceship. afro afro, you need to go in space. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> Actually, my hair was like that I before. Something so exciting. <laughs> it's good to see uh, Noreen. I don't Berlin think we have met does. before, Maria. Sorry, I see a Noreen here. Noreen, she's coming before. Noreen, Noreen, Noreen. Noreen. Uh, so nice to see you. This is your second time only on uh, on on yeah. Cog, right? Yeah. I um, hope you time. enjoyed that, Noreen. Very interesting. Uh, we should have seen this much earlier in life, right? <laughs> why, why you were then opted to go to space? Uh, better late than never. You have then opted to go to space? Not a bad idea. You're putting ideas into my head. <laughs> They're never so too late. It's never too late. <laughs> yeah. it could be another that again? Scenario. We didn't hear what you just said. Uh, if Sunita Williams could do it, we yes. all can. And, yes, uh, I think we should sure do yes. that. Absolutely. It's never too late. Absolutely. No, oh, wonderful. No. <laughs> We're so happy that you joined us, Noreen. Where are you based um, right now? I'm in Mumbai. Mumbai. Oh, lovely. Lovely. We're so happy that you joined us. I know many a time you were in the US and you couldn't because of the timing. 
But I'm yes. glad to know you're now here in Bombay and yeah. you could yeah. make it. Yeah. Now I should I should check each time you have something that you offer so that I don't miss it out. <laughs> Yeah, are yes, you on call definitely. conversations on the WhatsApp group? Call conversations. I think I was, but I didn't take part. So maybe no, no. Uh, it's more active now. Yes. No, but you will get the notifications whenever whenever some event is happening. You can get the notifications on call conversations. <laughs> Because all the ladies would refer to Francis, Francis, Francis. <laughs> 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 the 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 ladies have no choice. I'm the only guy around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't hear them complaining. I don't hear anyone all complaining. All the ladies felt. All the ladies felt for Rudolph, so he's our Rudolph now. Valentino, <laughs> <laughs> Francis. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm going to very quickly share. We we did so much of travel outside space. We started today's session with the true stars of uh, Circle of Grey. I'm going to end today also with a replay of that, just for those who missed missed it. Okay, and uh, so here we go. how we keep it straight but we are just going to keep diagonal and just keep it like this but keep it at your like on the toes like on your toes you don't need to do it it's just a, you know just to show you one Walking steps of Francis. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, those. <laughs> oh, that was on space. In space. <laughs> no, no, he did the walking steps. That was in another space. In another time. <laughs> <laughs> At the time. <laughs> the next, the next session should be on fun with puns. <laughs> We all fun, have to be yeah. enjoying it. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so Maria, much, everyone. I hope you loved that, that session. We enjoy, Maria. Maria, thanks to you. Maria, we always nice. enjoy ourselves. I know. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Where are you based? Element of fun. <laughs> That's what <laughs> Maria brings into it. Every, Maria, anything that you bring. Hi, uh, you, hi Maria. Uh, oh. Maria. Hi, Diana. Yeah, Maria. If we. If we face the sun, means early morning sun. That is the east, no? Yes. Yes. Behind yes. us is the west. Left is the north, and right is the south. That's what being north a geographer. Yeah. Northeast. No, no. Northeast, northeast, southwest. Northeast. <laughs> no. And that's what news is. Northeast, north, south. west, south, south. news. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we taught the children being a geography yeah, teacher. That's yeah, great. Yeah. That's yeah, great, yeah, yeah. That's no I'm going But to notice still, now which to side. Lots more, lots more. Even for planets to remember, I had two sentences. I can't remember very well. But something What? like this: Mary My? very early made Jane shake up her pillow like that. Okay. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. There was yeah. another sentence. My very again? educated mother. My, my very educated mother just, just showed us, showed nine, us planets. nine planets. Oh, <laughs> oh nice! Nice, nice. 
very yeah, so that's my very Mupis. educated mother mother who just showed us just showed, just showed us with the saturn uranus neptune pluto nine planets oh <laughs> lovely that's awesome so we never going to forget the planets now <laughs> no no <laughs> <laughs> all the Fantastic. time I was reminded, like what I was teaching them. But I think once again, that, Maria, my, very educated, my very educated mother, Mercury, okay. Venus, Earth, Mars, uh-huh. just showed, just us, showed us nine showed us? planets. Jupiter just showed us Jupiter, nine, Saturn. Uh, nine planets. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Uranus, cool. Neptune, Pluto. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Nice. This is really very, very easy to very learn. Very nice. Yeah. But very now very Pluto is not there. Yeah, now he's not there. Pluto is not there. He's a dwarf <laughs> now. Nine. Just a nine. Nine. So now it just uh, just showed us nine planets. No, nine. 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 It just showed us. So now we have to just showed us nothing. It just showed us, us nothing. Nothing. My very educated father. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> we seem to have changed what was history <laughs> yeah. for the geography of the planet. Yeah, we changed. <laughs> we changed. Uh, we changed history and geography. <laughs> <laughs> like even we used to teach them the Sapta Rishi, you no, know, the seven. Those are the seven stars. Those seven stars. So that would be which one? Then the Saptarishi would be the seven stars. So that would be a constellation. constellation. I've heard this word after so many Sunday. years. So many years. Thank you so much, Burley. Because Saptarishi, you know, for me, Hindi <laughs> words are like really. I mean, I'm just Sapt basically means seven. No, seven. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so that's yes, what we used to go when we used to go for the camps. We used to say, come on, all sit back, bring your bed sheets out. We used to stay back and start gazing at the sky, looking out for the supper. We had a naughty guy like Francis. He would <laughs> always tell us stories. My God. And then the leaves rustling also, he would tell us that the ghost falling down. We would scream and run inside. Are you calling me naughty? No, like Francis. Like, like Francis. Yeah, but naughty like Francis. <laughs> there was another of your kind. You have so many <laughs> names. Francis, you're famous for the very reasons. <laughs> for your telescopic reasons. Your telescopic reasons. Hey, by the way, you didn't bring Venus, Francis. Ooh. Yeah, where Venus. is your Venus? I don't like it's to share. Mars. Some Some things I don't like to share. He's Venus. Oh. <laughs> no, she's, she's a star she's gazing. Star, right? She was there for the dance. She's, she's a, yeah, she's stargazing at the moment. So, <laughs> <think so. laughs> we'll have she's to say she's gone for Because us. there are no stars in the sky. We'll have no, to check. Then she has things. another star to gaze upon. Yeah. Catch a falling Sweet. star and put it in the month. pocket. Uh, oh, yeah. another song. forgot about that song. Yeah, we forgot about that song. song. <laughs> yeah, Catch a yeah. falling star and put it in your pocket. Never let it go. Fade away. Never, Never let, let it, it go again. Go away. Fade away. Go away. Fade go away. away. Yeah. 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 That's a nice one. Yeah. 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 Sky. The North Star. I don't know what it's called. No, a rosary in a shape of a rosary. Rosary. It's called, uh, yeah. the, the, yeah. it's called something, but mm. I'll find out what it is. But it is the a constellation. Now, a constellation from uh, October, November. Constellation it's in the sky. It's in the sky. Also. So it so, has how many uh, stars in it, like a rosary? I'll have to. Yeah, it's in I the think shape it's of called the Pleiades star it cluster. Middle, sort of. Right? It's called yeah, the... it's called the Pleiades cluster. I'll Pleiades share with you one minute. Uh, let me share screen. I think I found it. Mm. Just one second. Taurus. This. Uh, yeah. Balloon rosary. How beautiful. Yeah, this. 
Sometimes it's hard to uh, see what like they see, best, right? With all yeah. the different shapes. To be specific, yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah. See this one, which gives you that mm. five. This is like one. This is supposed to be the one. Play this. Let's see. It's just loading. Taking too so, long. So exciting! Now we'll all get into this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's I'm glad. So interesting, yeah. What is y'all in? Where are y'all based? Sorry, we had met on the farm. Ah, uh, you remember? Farm. Ah, uh, uh, we were on another senior group for papas yeah. and nanas. That pana, pana. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. And I think yeah. I told you about circle of grey, and then you are there on conversations. I just checked. You are on conversations. I just added her. I just added okay, her. Okay, okay. <laughs> and her name But has come the way now. I have it. No, she she was on the circle of amigos group. Ah, okay. Yes. Ah, uh, but I realized she was not on conversation, so I just added her in. So now, Noreen, all the chatter happens on the conversation <laughs> WhatsApp group. It's a lot of fun. All everything that happens over here gets taken there. So I, I hope think who you... introduced me to Circle of Grey? Who introduced? Uh, or death? Or death? Oh, oh nice. Yeah, she's yeah. Yeah, I know, doctor. Yes, yes. doctor. Yeah, yeah. We're all in the same line dance group in my. Oh so. wow! Oh, so nice. were you also in that line dance? Yes, we saw that yes. video for Pastor's Day. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, nice. nice. Good. <laughs> See all okay. of you all. Now we have to go back and look out for Noreen in that <laughs> yeah. in the video. <laughs> <laughs> That's so we hope to see you join us more, Noreen. And I want to okay. say special thanks also to uh, Lena, Maria, Veridiana for sending in your videos uh, and for decking yourselves up so beautifully. Lena, I know that uh, it was thundering and lightning, and it was really hard. But she actually sent me the did the dance without any music because she couldn't hear. But she did it and sent it to me. So I think she deserves yes. a big hand, just like how we have shooting stars, we have never failing stars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hats so off! You. Within within one hour, oh, you wonderful. wanted and did such a wonderful yeah. job. You know, it's you know, in matter of pride to me. You know, I'm I, yeah. I'm just literally boasting around telling, "Can you see? Look, look, look! See these? Yeah. I show almost everyone whenever like Maria keeps sending those, I'll be like, see, please have a look. It is so nice. It like you know, they're like, are you sure? You know, like how old are they? I'm like, you you can't, you know. So like, it's so lovely. I mean, the other day I went for the garba. I was just I was like, nothing to beat y'all. They are in their own world, but the fun that we could see those expressions and the way y'all put the steps. So much of uh, grace! I mean, My goodness, such good dancers, yeah. really so graceful. Really nice. It feels beautiful. so nice, you know. Thanks to their teacher yeah, as well. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you, Hazel. Mine, but thanks yeah, to you, Maria. Yeah, big hand thank to you, Hazel. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Hazel. <laughs> She's super, <laughs> really superb. <laughs> anyway, so all right, everyone. That was such a lovely session. I hope you enjoyed yes, yourself. Yes, enjoyed it. Yes, thank you so much. Ah, uh, one more sentence I'll teach you. Now, sir, we are all young mothers or grandmothers. <laughs> When we take the children out, no, just outside, children or the grandchild. I see the moon. The moon sees, sees me. me. God, God bless the moon, me. and God bless, bless me. Oh, <laughs> and I know the nursery rhymes. The nursery rhymes. Let's say it yeah. together. Come on, let's all say it together. Where did Diana? Can yeah. you repeat that? I see. <laughs> 
I see the moon. I see the moon. I see, I see the, moon. the moon. And the moon, and the moon, moon sees me. me. God bless God the moon. Bless God the moon. And God bless, God bless, God bless me. me. The and you. The and all of you. <laughs> On that note, that was the the perfect way to end today's end. conversation. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Veridiana. Yeah. yeah, God bless all of us. Yes, and uh, please get back into your rockets and <laughs> we um, we shall see you soon thanks so much everyone <laughs> right, thank you maria thanks everyone see you guys bye -bye. see you guys have fun yeah really oh, you're most welcome you're most welcome goodbye thank see you twinkling good night keep twinkling like the stars <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> keep twinkling like the stars yeah oh Oh, that looks Hazel. so beautiful, Hazel, your twinkle, background. Little stars. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Amigo <laughs> stars. Twinkle, twinkle, amigo stars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Twinkle, twinkle. Little star. star. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's your name. Oh, there's your name. Oh, my wonder. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> Like a diamond in Keep the twinkling sky. like a diamond in the sky. Like I'm going to take a screenshot of all of you doing that. <laughs> now, when you now when you uh, recite this nursery rhyme, it'll make a whole. It'll be a whole different uh, meaning, you know. Totally. You kind of will be thinking about it in a different way. Yeah. No, come to think of it, I mean, I never thought of it until you, you know, until we did it today, and until this thing came up, you know, all this <laughs> time, it never struck. Now it's like, oh yeah, yeah you know. Well. So many things yeah. are related to the stars and to the moon. Bye. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Okay, bye bye. Have a lovely night. Bye. Like bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, girl. Bye. 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 <laughs>